Why do you come to Rwanda? It's safe. It's safest country in Africa. You can travel everywhere within a day. I'm the managing director of New Dawn Associates. I'm a tour operator and the vice chairman of Rwanda Tourism Chamber. We created a brand, Rwanda Beyond Gorillas. I would define New Dawn Associates uh, not as a tour operator, it's a responsible tourism company. The Rwandan culture is all about giving back. How can you make tourism sustainable if it is not benefiting the local community? You teach the community to be innovative. They created the projects and the product that can sell to the tourist. Instead of begging for money, they actually are selling you something. So that's the sustainability that we want to see. We bring all that together into the project, training the local communities by looking at the environment, by looking at the history and the people and the area. Once the project is created and we are comfortable with it, we invite our fellow tour operators to come and do a test tour. And they give us feedback, which feedback we put back and make sure it's OK, and then we come into training the communities that we work with, how to receive the tourist, and then the product is boom, it's there on the market and every other company can sell it. And that has made us pioneers in responsible tourism and sustainable development. The geographic location of Rwanda is central, so you can drive from one border from eastern province to the western province in a day. We've got the National Park in Akajara, which is the eastern province with a big five. And then to Gisenyi, you see the beach and you visit area. And then you come down to the center again, and you see the development and the city too, and the real estate. And then you go up to the volcanoes, where you see five volcanoes, what lives there, the mountain gorillas. You're yeah, welcome to Five Volcanoes Boutique Hotel. This is not a hotel, it's a home. Feel like you are in your own home. It's when you're in the restaurant on a clear day, you look this side, you see three volcanoes, and you look this side, you see two, so there are five in total. So you can see them from five volcanoes. That's where the name comes from, five volcanoes. You can hike four of the five mountains, but you also trick the gorillas. Gorillas are unique. They want to know why you are there. They are also curious, and I'm, I'm happy that it's limited to a number of people and uh, a set time to, to be with them and then leave. These are endangered species. They live at the slopes of the volcanoes with different types of groups. The silverback is a family head, and it's protecting his family, and it's like a husband protecting his kids and the wife. And they sit and watch, and once they say you are not danger to the family, that's when they let you in. You know, you have to kill the silverback to sell the baby gorilla. And so the poachers had to be taught about conservation. They had to be integrated from being poachers to actually gorilla protectors. You do that only when you create a sustainable community project where the poachers can share their story with the visiting people so they understand how and why these animals were called endangered species. To trade gorillas, you pay $1,500. $1,500, 10 percent of that is giving back to the community, the community that lives around the park, so that they stop poaching, so that they conserve the park. We need to tell people conservation is still needed and much needed now because you have to protect the babies to grow into juvenile and silver bugs. And for us to do that, it's a lot of money that goes into conservation. And if you don't increase the gorilla permit to get money to give to the communities to protect the environment and actually report the activities that may be poaching or any other, by giving them health care, education, and actually even training the, you know, the, their young ones to become young ambassadors of conservation. can close my eyes and I'll tell you thousands of experiences I've had for every group I've visited and it's it's a wonderful experience and that's why I called the entire world to just come and see it. It's something you have to experience and feel for yourself. It's an inner feeling that you don't have until it happens to you. So it's out there, it's in you, you just have to discover it. No, we get people not only gorillas now, the number is increasing of tourists here, not only the gorillas but also doing other things. I know that people will be coming and they are guaranteed that they will see gorillas in Rwanda. Come to Rwanda and 
Trek God leaders, come to Rwanda and visit the Big Five, come to Rwanda and see the land of a thousand hills. Mm -hmm.